When I took up the role of Justice Minister just over a year ago, I said that bringing forward legislation to support victims of domestic abuse, suffering from non-physical abuse, including coercive control, was my priority. Today, that Domestic Abuse and Civil Proceedings Bill reaches its final stage in the Assembly. I'm immensely grateful to everyone who has worked hard to get us to this point. Getting the first piece of justice legislation, indeed the first piece of major legislation through in this mandate, is an important and a very positive landmark. This bill will make a real and tangible difference for those who are affected by a range of abusive behaviours, by intimate partners, including former partners or close family members. This abuse could be emotional, financial, sexual or through controlling and coercive behaviour. When I listen to victims' stories, harrowing stories, as well as listening to our voluntary sector partners who work to support them, it has been key in shaping the legislation and I know that that too will be key in how we bring perpetrators to justice. What shocks people who have experienced domestic abuse is that when they finally confide in someone about what is happening to them, they find out that they are not the only one in that situation. Today marks an important step, not only in encouraging more people to talk to someone about what they're experiencing, but in changing the conversation. And that has never been more important than it is now, when we are in the midst of a lockdown and we know that abusers may seek to exploit it. The stay at home message does not mean to suffer at home. Completion of this legislation will play a crucial part in giving victims the courage they need. Courage to believe that they are not in the wrong and that they have nothing to be ashamed of. Courage to know that they will be believed. And courage to know that the justice system works for them and has their back. You are not on your own. Please seek help. Help is available.